Good morning, everyone. Tom Coughlin aired out some dirty laundry in public yesterday when Leonard Fournette and TJ Yeldon uh, Squint sat quietly on the team bench and crossed their arms. Well guess what Tom? We're pretty disappointed too. You've crammed deal buns and a three-hour stadium entrance procedure and Blake F asterisk CKING bortles down our throats and we have some grievances to air as well. So, without further ado, bring us your rants, John Curland at BCB Couch. I imagine I'll be echoing the sentiments of most folks, but my biggest disappointment is the lack of accountability within this organization. It started with nobody holding certain players accountable for acting like jackasses over the summer, and allowing this team to buy into their own BS all offseason. It then apexed with the handling of Bortles and the abortion that was the final half of the season. How did the owner respond? By keeping everyone who allowed it all to happen. Only the Jaguars could turn a perceived Super Bowl contender into a lost franchise in three months, Philip Bress at Jacksonville, honestly, most disappointed in Leonard Fournette. And I don't even care about the behavior issues and disinterest, although those aren't ideal. Fournette has played poorly this year. It's as simple as that. On top of that, he wasn't the, the transcendent top 5 overall draft pick NFL draft pick last year as a rookie, either. He's nowhere near the stratosphere of Ezekiel Elliott, Saquon Barkley, Todd Gurley, Christian McCaffrey, etc. And if you think he is, you're living in the bird box. If a person came down from a rocket ship from another planet and watched all the running backs in the NFL this season, Fournette may not crack the top 60. I'm serious. Take away all the context of being a top draft pick and take his name plate off his jersey and all the hype he garnered from his play at LSU, and he's been average back that has gotten worse this season. When you think of the other players who were available when Fournette was selected, it only compounds the angst. He may very well end up being the biggest bust in NFL history, and for a franchise shrouded in perpetual ineptitude, this is striking. Ryan Oblenis at Ryan Oblenis, I'm not sure where to start. I think the easiest way to say it is that I am most disappointed with how far off this team was from meeting expectations. Not that they didn't reach them, but the fact that the team wasn't even close. This was the first year in at least 10 years where the organization itself and the fans alike actually had Super Bowl aspirations. And after a promising 3-1 start, the fall from grace was fast and furious. The NFL has so much parity that it was never a sure thing the Jags would win the division or make the playoffs again, but the fact that the team was not even competitive for the majority of the last 12 weeks of the season was simply disheartening. There were so many issues, injuries, quarterback play, discipline, coaching, etc. The 2018 season was not supposed to go this way. On other note, I am shocked the Jaguars are bringing back Dave Caldwell. This is the wrong move. I'm disappointed that our front office decided to draft Tavon Bryan instead of a quarterback that defenses could stack the box with 14 guys against. I'm disappointed that we sunk a top 5 pick into a bald-headed Toby Gerhardt with a beard. How the F asterisk CK does a 6 feet 5. Quarterback has so many batted passes at the line. I'm disappointed that Blake Bortles didn't just become a construction. Worker after college, I miss Byron left which, I'm disappointed I didn't buy more alcohol, I'm mostly just disappointed that we're supposed to continue believing Blake Bortles is a man in his mid-twenties when the dude's clearly a 46-year-old chain-smoking John C. Riley ass mother fast risk CKER, disappointed that I have to continue see Caldwell's bald spot with this team, there is no F asterisk CKING accountability anywhere on that godforsaken football field, I watch year after year but I can't. Look, away. I guess what I'm saying is I'm disappointed in myself, if Matt True had wore a Bortles jersey through all of 2019, do you think anyone would notice it wasn't Bortles? I'm disappointed that other teams can draft a QB at 8, 12 or 30 and they turn into a pro bowler. I'm disappointed that Dave Caldwell drafted a right-handed Tim Tebow. The fans seem to care more and be more passionate than anybody on the team. I'm most disappointed that Tom Coughlin and co think that the year is 1976, I'm disappointed in us for winning last week, Coughlin is an old, get off my lawn, man and it's annoying AF, I'm blackout drunk. 
Jaguars suck need to fire everyone but we didn't. Hello darkness my old friend if you have anything to say, feel free to DM us at it Big Cat Country. We're always open. Want NFL news and interesting links in your inbox every weekday morning. Rise and grind with us. By signing up, you agree to our privacy policy and European users agree to the data transfer policy.